Oh yeah. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Big oyster. What's up everybody? Jesse saw the reels fishing back on the urban river today for some fun and relaxation. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I came out here a few days ago in the kayak, spent all day. Probably one of the worst days of fishing I ever had. So, kind of back today on a weekday for retribution, I guess. I'm hanging out with my good brother Reed. It's always nice to have a friend that you can just call and he's like, heck yeah, I'm down. So, we're going to spend this nice, calm, sunny day out here fishing. Search around, try new spots, try old spots, and hopefully get something today. So, this is luck. All right, so right now I'm just kind of scanning, looking for activity. I mean, you got the technology, might as well use it. Definitely looks like I'm seeing something over this way. We're approaching low tide right now, so I don't know how great the bike's gonna be. Oh, and that was a hit, dude. Yeah, he took it right off. Dude, that was a... There's definitely something here. Yeah, I was to go up on an eighth ounce stick hit. Yeah, that was a big red. That had to be a big red. Well, that's a good sign. That was my first cast. I thought it was a snag for a second, so I pulled on it and then it was like, Phew. good Lord. Oh yeah, well, we did a good spot right from the get go. What you got? Drum? Yeah, look at the size of the one I got. Hey man, that don't matter. I know I saw movement out here when we pulled up. Oh, I just had a bite as well. That was a little bigger. Heck yeah, boy. Dude, really? You must be casting right on top of the school. I got like a new penny shrimp on. I got a new penny mullet, chartreuse. You can cast over there where you cast. Yeah, really. <laughs> That's about where I was marking them on the sonar. It looked like they were just sitting there. Yep, there he is. There must be a little school sitting there. Well, we starting the day off good. Yeah, I doubled up. Not the biggest, but heck, I'll take them. Thank you, bud. First fish of the day. Well, folks, we've been here for about 10 minutes, and we've already caught four fish. Lost a big one. I already caught more fish than I did all day the other day. <laughs> a sad one fish. Yep, yeah, here we go. On a slow retrieve. A little bit better. Look at the spots. Boy, you got some parasites on him. Look at y'all. Look at all the spots. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. That's a pretty fish. That's a good thing I like about gulp. It's almost like fishing cut bait. You literally catch fish dead sticking it. And it's the only soft plastic I've seen that works like that. Good God. See, look at my camera. Dead stick. They, got, they must be hungry this morning. Got a little bit of fight to them. Doubling up, y'all. That's the action way it should be. Yeah, I don't like this rod. Oh, it feels loose? Yeah. Oh, Lord, I'm sitting talking to you. You got fish on. I just gotta love a nice, quiet morning of fishing in the yeah. in the country. Birds, and Man, sirens, and... <laughs> see you, dude. 
This gulp is killing it right now. Yep. There we go. Nice little school of pups. One spot. Pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. Here we go. Little guy there. Hell y'all, we're just kind of winding down the afternoon at this point. The wind's gotten pretty bad. We're hiding up in Dewey's Creek here, just pecking away at some smaller fish. Such a nice day, I really hate to just pack up and go home, but. It's a good fight for a white perch. Another drum. <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. That's a nice one there, too. For white perch fishing. <laughs> Stupid drum. Video. Something different anyway. Yeah. I can't catch it. Like, it's a big one. I think I got the perch. Oh. Sure. Yeah, maybe a drum. Nah, I think you got a drum. The nah. Yes, yeah, this thing's got like four pound test on it. Heck yeah. Downscaled. Caught some fish. Small drum to eat our big jig heads. Or really even try to, I guess. Yeah, that shrimp come by and they're like, scared them. <laughs> Gulp shrimp, oh, that tastes too big. Ain't nothing in here that big. There we go. Yeah. Got me a perch. That was the target species. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My smallest fish. Ow, and it just spiked me. They got spikes on them. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Yeehaw. I run back on a jig and use them for bait. Oh, there we go. On the ultralight. That was a little drum. Thank you, sir. Ooh, finally. On the ultralight rig, a little crappy pole. And we're still catching drum. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, how to fix a wind knot again. Third one today. Oh, see, I knew I wanted to fish this point. I guess it was worth fixing it. Another drum staged up on the backside of a point on the incoming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a little more line on him. That's a nice one, dude. Get him. Come on, Reedy. <laughs> Thank you. That was a nice size on your little ultralight. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the help, buddy. It's funny, I get to this point, I was like, heck yeah, and then I get a wind knot. So I had to sit here five minutes fixing that. First cast, look at this little guy. Look at that pretty spot on his tail. One little spot. Thank you. Thank you, man. Ah. All right, folks, we're calling it. It was a good day on the water. Thanks again to my buddy Reed, hanging tough with me. Always can count on him to hang in there for a full day of fishing. Started off great this morning. And then it just kind of slowed down. We took a lunch break on the water side, grabbed some grub, fished hard this afternoon. Caught a few, using mainly ultra light rigs and stuff. Had some fun. So thoroughly sunburnt and going to load up and go home. So peace out. See you in the next video.